we're live at Dreamforce Salesforce, Dreamforce in San Francisco, California. My name is Ramon Ray, founder of Smart Hustle Media. And what's your full name and the name of your business? It is Gwendolyn Houston Jack, I'm G Photography, and people call me G. Awesome. Listen, G, one question really I have for you is, can you tell us, well, two questions. One, a bit about your business, and then what's your advice to small businesses? So one, feel free to, I know it's a photography, but tell us a bit more. What is it about that people should understand about G Photography? Well, I'm a portrait artist. Okay. I have a focus on creating portrait work for individuals. It is a fashion and editorial in style, okay. but also creating branding images for other small businesses. And you and I kind of look kind of a little fashionable. We should, like, know. You know, I, I we should be in the front I cover of Vogue or something. Like, hey, you know, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, what are your tips for small business success? You're here today. Yes, sure, you're a one-person business, but I think you've had some success. What can we learn from you? That one, two, three, four, five things that you think, alone. here's what it takes to be successful in business. And if you want, feel free to share a challenge you have. Okay. Okay. Successful challenge. Um, I think I may have like maybe three ideas. Great. One of them is to invest in yourself in okay. education. It is great to have a skill. I love my art as a photographer. But most importantly, I have to have classes and how to run a business mm. and continue also learning. So you just can't become um, comfortable with where you are. You have to see goals and keep growing. So education, especially business education, that's huge. The second thing is investment in technology. Yes. Everybody believes that you know Excel works and maybe you could do a couple of post-it sure. notes. Big picture. Cups, yeah, you could do one or two post-it notes, one or, two one or three Excel. It, it works, it works. But you have to have something that holds you accountable. Yes. I am using Salesforce essentials mm -hmm. to hold me accountable. Keeps me in line with where my leads are, where my opportunities are, and where I am in the selling process. Yeah. And then after I have sold it, that follow-up process. So you have to keep growing that relationship with your customer. It is a, it's huge for that. It is and huge. referral, getting them to buy more, so important. Exactly. Yeah. The last thing is, this is more of a personal thing, Please. is everybody is running their own race. Yeah. You know, And I like to use the idea of a marathon, yeah. because I've done the 26.2 okay. a couple times. You can see that person, and you want to catch them, and you think to yourself, I want to have the eight medals, and I want to have, yes. and I want to be this fast. The, the eight-figure business, the, the seven-figure business, yes. whatever it may be. Yeah. Yes. And you can easily get uh, lost, because you're trying to be somebody else and not yourself. You have to create your own idea, your own definition of what success is, and live up to that idea of success. Everybody's business grows slowly. I'm in my seventh year. It feels like my first year. So everybody has their own race, run your own race, and give yourself those accolades when you make those marks of how you define success. Wow. From G of G Photography, we're here at Salesforce, Dreamforce is Salesforce, or Salesforce is Dreamforce, with the Essentials team, I'm Ramon Ray, with Smart House and Media G. Thanks for sharing your advice with us today.